Hi everyone! Today we're going to learn how to trace a circumference in Scratch with a known radius, which is something many people cannot do. So if you're ready, let's get started! First of all, we need the pen tool, so let's add it. And before we get started, I want to show you what most of you have probably ever done, which is a circumference where you don't control the radius. The program could be this. Let's make it smaller. And when green flag clicked, pen down, move one step, and turn one degree. And we repeat this 360 times. Obviously this works, but as I said, we don't control how long the radius is. So let's code a better project. The idea of the project is the following. Given a center, we're going to move radius, pen down, pen up, we go back. Now we point in a slightly different direction, so we rotate one degree or half a degree. We move radius, pen down, pen up, we go back and we repeat this process until we complete the circumference. So let's program it. We're gonna go to my blog so that we can create a blog that runs instantly. Let's make a blog called trace circumference. And here we're going to go to the center. We can control this position if you feel like to. We will see how to do it later. And first of all, pen up. So now, after this, we're going to move radius steps, so we need a variable. And this variable could be a slider from, uh, let's say, 10 to 100. Now, pen down and pen up again. After this, we're going to turn one degree. Maybe later we will see that one degree is not enough if the circumference is big, so this should be 0 0.5. But if it is one degree, we're going to repeat this process 360 times. And as I said before, we're going to make it instant. We're going to edit and we're going to run without screen refresh. We can hide the cut. So now, when green flag clicked, we're going to trace circumference. And if we do it, this is a 10 pixel radius circumference. If we change it, this is bigger. So in this case, we're controlling the radius. As I told you before, when the circumference is big, the line is a bit blurred. So there are two ways to solve it. One is turn less degrees and repeat it 720 times instead of 360. And also we can change or we can set uh, pen size to two. So now if we repeat it, this is much clearer. Let's quickly make a button to erase all. And when this sprite clicked, erase all. And if you want to control where the circumference is created, what you can do is this. We're going to trace the circumference when, for example, space key pressed. And this is going to be created using the center my mouse position. So this is going to go to mouse X and mouse Y. This way, the circumferences are created
where I place my cursor. And that's all guys, I'm gonna leave a better version of this project in the description of the video just in case you wanna check it out and see you next time. Bye bye!